family that prays together stays together. My name is Samuel Washira Kegondo, working at Holy Cross Family Ministries Kenya. I welcome you to day seven of prayer and reflection on the journey of seven days with Our Lady of Sorrows in preparation of the Feast of Our Lady of Sorrows on September 15, 2022. Today we are reflecting on the seven sorrow. The body of Jesus is placed in the tomb. This we find it from the Gospel of John chapter 19, 14 to 42. Our intention today, we, will, we are giving thanks to God for every single thing that he has done to our life, the graces that he has bestowed in us. We are called upon to give thanks in all circumstances, as it is in the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians, chapter 5, verse 18. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Holy Mother, your soul was pierced by a sword of sorrow at the sight of the passion of your divine Son. Intercede for us and obtain for us from our Lord as we give thanks today for the graces that you have bestowed, if it be for his honor and glory and for you, our good. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and lead us to everlasting life. Amen. The family that prays together stays together. Pray for